<laughs> so what are you doing Kirst? I'm currently trying to figure out how I can change the volume because we've got using a site called creative cow yes which is me I'm a creative cow We've got like different videos on here, we've got different sound recordings, so I want to see if I can adapt. So that's terrifying ones. piece there, isn't yeah. what we're trying to do, isn't it? So, because I'm a noob at this, I just Google everything. I think this is what everyone does, so they just it's don't want to admit it. It's the easiest thing to do, be real with yourself. Like, if you don't know what to do, just Google it, that's why it's there. It's the whole point. Got the tools, use them. Exactly. So, this looks better, doesn't it? Okay, to see audio, you um, hit the L key. See, this is helpful when they have like L key. So if I hit the L key, see, that's perfect. As simple as that. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, look at this, right? So what I can do oh, you is... You see the sound, so you can affect... Mm -hmm. um, right, so I need to do that. And then... Right. Just like, pretty much... Okay, you can... Uh, Fade audio in and <laughs> out after effects. Click the stopwatch next to the audio levels. Change the volume, move the time. It's a bit confusing. Maybe it's just me, but um, I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, I'm a bit confused. Right, let me just see. So... Can you keyframe it, right? So how do you keyframe assistant? No? Convert audio to keyframe. This is where I need my Benjamin because he knows what he's doing. I have no idea. Uh, We're just too art is trying to use technology. And it does not work. Do you know what? I might resort to calling him because he has the answers. We get back to you when we hear from Benjamin. Benjamin. 